Fox News alert, a massive fire overnight breaking out in a major U.S. city. Here's the scene at a Philadelphia refinery. This broke out at a 150-year-old oil refinery, and that is where our own Jackie Heinrich is right now, live in Philadelphia for us. Jackie? Good morning, Sandra. The fire is still burning, and what hits you first is the smell. From at least a few miles away, you get hit with this nauseating smell of gas, but fire officials, health department says it is safe to breathe. We do want to get straight to that video, though, because that is what tells the story. This was the scene at 4 in the morning. A vat of butane exploded, causing the initial blast. This is a huge complex, the largest on the eastern seaboard. It produces more than 330,000 barrels of oil per day, so it is incredible that nobody was hurt. We're told there were people working close by at the time and they were able to get out of the way. The fire spread, though, and triggered several more explosions. People reported hearing at least three to five blasts. It was the smoke that prompted the Department of Emergency Management to tweet out a shelter in place order for neighboring streets. The plume stretched several hundred feet into the air, and one man told a local news station he could feel the heat coming off the fire from five miles away. Traffic was also shut down for hours, including part of the highway. Just this hour, the Department of Health says preliminary testing found no ambient carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, which are combustible, or hydrogen sulfides in the air, so the air is safe to breathe and no evacuations are in place at this time. That being said, though, it still smells like gas from miles away. The complex is actually made up of two refineries, and they have their own fire brigade, which is trained to handle emergencies like this. At least 120 firefighters are on scene still working to put out this fire. The next steps, though, are going to be figuring out what triggered that initial explosion and, of course, the cleanup, which could take days. Sandra? Thankfully, no injuries reported. Jackie Heinrich, thank you.